Hey everyone, I'm Tommy and welcome to part 2 of my custom Core XY 3D printer series. Back in part 1, we uninstalled the backplate of the printer and replaced the broken linear bearings with slightly worse 3D printed ones. It wasn't much, but it was a start. Today, we will be uninstalling the worst 3D printed ones, which actually broke, with proper linear flange bearings. Then, we'll be installing some new timing belt idlers and Y-axis mounts. Here is a time lapse of me unboxing the bearings and idlers, disassembling the machine and installing them. A lot of this video is sped up, and I've included timestamps for efficiency if there is a part you do not wish to watch. Here is a quick comparison between the printed bearing and the new one. As you can see, the printed one is long and the metal one is shorter. But the metal one is probably stronger, better quality, and most certainly won't break during the printer's operating time, which made it a great investment and source of peace of mind. With the bearings replaced, the Z-axis was looking great and was once again operating smoothly. I then reinstalled the gantry and began uninstalling the makeshift bearing and washer idlers, making room for the new Y mounts and idlers. The Y mounts were a bit fiddly to install at first, but with a mix of wiggling and force I eventually got them mounted and figured out. Although the installation was great for familiarity, I had no idea that I was going to have to redo it all again soon, maybe more than once. Yo. When it came to installing the B-roller bearings, I could see the axis really taking shape. It was quite satisfying watching it all come together and really cool in general. The first confusing parts were the spaces, as the instructions weren't very detailed about which ones to go where. Maybe I should have looked closer though. I quickly realised that I had installed the Y mounts on the wrong sides, so with the familiarity I had gained earlier, I was able to quickly swap them around. By placing the idlers on the machine, I was able to visualise what the machine was going to look like, but I also found that I had installed the Y mounts on the wrong side, so I was going to have to reinstall them again. Luckily, it wasn't a big deal. After checking that everything was correctly installed, I then moved on to installing the V-roller bearings again but I realised that to get smooth motion I was going to need some eccentric nuts to get the best pressure. Eccentric nuts are like regular nuts but with a hole drilled slightly off centre. That way when you tighten them the wheel rotates to get closer or further away from the extrusion. They're very important but I just couldn't find any spare ones anywhere and not wanting to steal them from my Ender 3 I decided I would have to figure out what to do later. So that wraps up today's video, I'm super pleased with the components we've installed and look forward to doing part 3. The components I've purchased are also linked in the description if you wish to check them out. Once again, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon.